values now in case of our examination card marks card so we are having a uh, grades student gets grade so what we are doing while processing we are assigning numbers to each of the grades a a b a b b b b uh, b c c c all that c d d all those uh, letters letter grades we are converting into values and then we are kind of finding s g p a c g p a so in the similar fashion in the similar fashion here also we are assigning values to the outcomes and after assigning the values we are in a position to interpret the experiment beyond a point likewise in case of mark sheet also we to get the result in terms of numerical values in terms of numerical values so from that numerical values we understand the performance likewise here also to understand the performance of the random variable we have to choose proper mapping i told you told you that there are various ways of mapping i have taken this way of mapping it is a simple mapping which i have used just to explain the plot of how to plot the uh, distribution function how to plot the density function how to find the mean of the random variable how to find the variance of the random variable to explain all those things i have taken very simple mapping so uh, by using this mapping so all together now corresponding to this sample space we are having 10 20 30 and so on 60 so outcome of experiment is mapped to real value so this is random variable is converting sample space to real values sample space to real values now if i go for finding of mean mean of random variable x since the values taken by the random variable are discrete so it is a discrete random variable so what is the formula xi then probability that random variable is taking value xi and for all i equal to 1 to 6 this is x1 x2 first value second value third value x6 random variable is taking different values let us say first value is x1 second value is x2 x1 is 10 x2 is 20 and x6 is 60 similarly so if uh, i am going to find the average behavior of this random variable what i what i should know i should know that what value that random variable is taking and what is the probability of taking that value if random variable is taking value x1 then what is the probability that it is taking value x1 so here we know that x1 multiplied by p1 x2 multiplied by p2 and so on last one is x6 multiplied by p6 we know that p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 all they are having the same value because die thrown is a pure die so addition of x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 x6 so addition of all those six values 10 20 30 and add 60 the result is i think it is 35 just check it so mean of this uh, ran, mean of the random variable average behavior or our overall average average of the class what we say is average of the class is 35 maximum marks obtained by the student let us say 60 minimum marks obtained by the student let us say 10 so marks is distributed between 10 to 60 10 to 60 and 35 is average of the class we can interpret like this way now what is the deviation about this 35 so we we have to find uh, your variance and take the square root of variance so that gives you deviation so 35 plus sigma x 35 minus sigma x 35 plus 2 sigma x 35 minus 2 sigma x so we'll see uh, what is that so let us find variance of the random variable variance of the random variable x so sigma x whole square is equal to expected value of x square minus mu x square mu x square so uh, since i told you that it is expected value of x square so we are looking at the average behavior of x square not x so it is mean of the square value you are having values 
but the values are in the form of squares mean of the square value so in this case we can write formula x i square instead of x i it is x i square into probability that random variable is taking value x i so same thing only here square is coming i is equal to 1 to 6 because it is taking one of the sick value minus your mean square so here again the x i that is x 1 square p 1 square and so on x 6 square p 6 square minus mu x whole square so 10 square plus 20 square and so on 60 square minus 35 square so it is I think going to be 291 something just check check this 291 so after having variance 291 if I take the square root of 9, 291 maybe it is I think uh, 17 or 18 17 to 89 yeah it is near about 17 so so uh, then what we can say that 35 minus 17 35 plus 17 so variance about the mean deviation about the mean so mu x minus sigma x mu x plus sigma x so this this is and mu so uh, 7 mu x is 35 35 plus 17 52 35 minus 17 so it is i think 18 so 18 and here 35 plus 17 is 52 so, so it is like it is varying in that fashion it is varying in that fashion so this was about the variance variance is let us say 291 you may huh, check it and if there is a correction let me know so now let us come to a cumulative distribution function how to plot cumulative distribution function so we know that definition of cumulative distribution function is this okay if random variable fx is taking value less than equal to 10 what is the probability that random variable is taking value less than equal to 10? Is random variable is taking any value between 0 to 9? No. Is random variable taking any value between 0 to 9.99? No. Is random variable is taking value 10? Yes. What is the probability of taking that value? 1 by 6. So we can say like this, probability that random variable is taking value less than less than 10 it is not taking any value the probability of this event is 0 and probability of taking value x equal to 10 is 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 plus 0 it is 1 by 6 because random variable is not taking any value between minus infinity to 10 right and it, since it is a discrete random variable as long as the value is not 10 the result is probability is going to be 0 so probability of taking value 10 is 1 by 6 now if i go for like this fx of 20 the probability that random variable is taking value less than 20 here this can be split into two part one is probability that random variable is taking value less than equal to 10 plus probability that random variable taking value greater than 10 and less than equal to 20 here greater than equal than uh, greater than equal to that is very important since random variable is discrete so random variable is taking value less than equal to 10 which we have got it that is 1 by 6 random variable is taking value 11 12 13 14 15 the probability is 1 by 6 right it is only 6 1 by 6 up to 19 the probability is going to be 1 by 6 right since it is a discrete random variable or 20 the probability of taking value 20 is okay probability of taking value 20 or we can write here one more this thing 10 greater than 10 and less than 19 and then plus probability that less than 20 you can write 
and then probably that x equal to 20 x equal to 20 is 1 by 6 x equal to 10 is 1 by 6 is the random variable taking value between 10 to 20 no it is not taking any value between 10 to 20 greater than 10 less than 20 it is not taking so this probability is 0 and this is 1 by 6 and this taking value 20, uh, 20 is 1 by 6 so it is 2 by 6 right it is 2 by 6 now let us take it is 1 by 6 for 10 2 by 6 for 20 similarly we can write for 30 fx of 30 can so let us find the the value of distribution function when random variable is taking value and that by definition it is like this probability that random variable x is taking value less than or equal to 30 so we can see this uh, what is the event corresponding to this event corresponding to this is uh, the set event is a set of possible outcomes possible outcomes are what f1 f2 f3 less than 30 30 corresponds to f3 f2 corresponds to 20 f1 corresponds to 10 so less than 30 a random variable is taking value less than or equal to 30 it is addition of probability of three outcomes and probability of f1 plus probability of f2 plus probability of f3 so we can write this as also probability that x equal to 20 probability that x equal to 10 x equal to 20 and probability that x equal to 30 30 and all other probabilities we know that value taken by the random variable between minus infinity to 10 is 0 value taken by the random variable between 10 to 20 is 0 value taken by the random variable between 20 to 30 is 0 so though all those values what i am saying is other values also we can write and that is minus infinity to x less than 10 this is one thing another value that probability that it is taking value greater than 10 and less than 20 it is also 0 because 10 e, value taking value 10 is okay 1 by 6 but taking value greater than 10 and less than 20 right greater than 10 and less than 20 okay so greater than 10 it is not taking 11 it is not taking 12 right so greater than 20, uh, 10 and this all those things they are 0 so what we can write is it is we can write is 1 by 6 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 so 3 by 6 what I am saying here is if I write fx of 10 then it means that values taken by the random variable between minus infinity to 10 minus infinity to 10 so here minus infinity to less than 10 the probability is 0 taking value x equal to 10 probability is 1 by 6 taking value greater than 10 greater than 10 and less than 20 so whatever was there earlier that probability is that probability is up to 10 f of uh, x probability of x equal to 10 that is 1 by 6 does the random variable takes value 70 no so the probability and all after uh, 7 greater than less than equal to 70 it is addition of all those probabilities if i am saying uh, probability of taking value 11 so it is addition of all probability from minus infinity to 11 minus infinity to 11 so what i can say here is what a statement i made earlier here so i am saying that x is equal to 10 is equivalent to minus infinity is equivalent to minus infinity to less than equal to 10 the probability is this 1 by 6 what are the values random variable is taking 10 20 30 40 50 60 all these values if i say what is the probability that random variable is taking value just to clear 
my statement i am just giving you fx of 15 so here i can write probability that random variable is taking value less than 15 less than equal to 15 so there is only one event which is possible here only one event that is occurrence of this f1 so the probability is 1 by 6 the fx of 25 what is that here we get two events the probability of first event is 1 by 6 and probability of second event is 1 by 6 it is 2 by 6 so it is something like that so fx of let us say fx of 65 it is 6 by 6 1 right because it is going to take value x minus infinity to minus infinity to less than equal to 60 so event is all so entire sample space addition of probability of each individual outcome so that is your complete uh, value of distribution function fx of 61 so if i write uh, those values if i take those values into account and draw the plot of distribution function so we get like this this is 10 20 30 40 50 and 60 these are the values taken by random variable values taken by random variable the probabilities 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 6 by 6 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 5 by 6 this random variable taking value x so it is not taking any value random variable is not taking any value before 10 so probability before 10 has to be 0 but random variable taking value 10 what is the probability 1 by 6 1 by 6 so random variable is taking value greater than 10 is also 1 by 6 that value won't change there is no change in the value of 1 by 6 till we go up to 90 so there is no change after 90 there is a 20 so random variable is taking value 20 so it is taking value 10 so there are two events so we can say that here it is again taking value less than equal to 20 is taking value 10 and taking value 20 and taking value 21 22 23 24 25 the probability doesn't change probability doesn't change so here also here also again again you get 1 by 6 a increment in earlier probability so 3 by 6 30 3 by 6 40 up to 40 the result is 3 by 6 means up to 40 means just below 40 it is 3 by 6 and as soon as it takes value 40 it becomes 4 by 6 and that 4 by 6 remains up to 49 as soon as it becomes 50 as soon as it becomes 50 it takes value additional value that is 1 by 6 additional 1 by 6 so the result is 5 by 6 take random variable taking value less than equal to 50 is 5 by 6 less than equal to 40 is 4 by 6 right it is this now what is the this value remains as it is 50 50 okay 50 it is what 5 by 6 50 it is 5 by 6 and remains 5 by 6 till you till you come to the final value if final value is 60 there is an increment of 1 by 6 and that becomes 1 and thereafter it takes any value if it random variable takes any value greater than 60 
then the density function the distribution function value is going to be 1 greater than 70 so it is up to 60 addition of all probabilities up to 60 so that is 1 so random variable taking value fx of 70 it is equal to you can write fx of 60 plus that taking value random variable taking value we can say greater than greater than uh, this one 60 and less than 70 so this is 0 it is not taking value ok the contribution from this is going to be 0 so fx of 60 fx of 60 is 1, fx of 70 is also 1, fx of 80 is also 1, fx of infinity is also 1. So this is probability distribution function which is also called as cumulative distribution function. This is height is p1, p2, these are the probabilities p3, p4, p5, p6, addition of probability p1 plus p2, this is 2 by 6. P1, P2, P3, 3 by 6, P1, P2, P3, P4, 4 by 6 and all that. It is a cumulative distribution function. So it keeps on adding the probabilities uh, as new events, new and new events come into, comes into pictures. As we are getting new and new events, the probabilities is getting added with earlier probabilities. Probabilities are getting added with earlier probabilities when we get remaining outcomes when we get next outcome or next to next outcomes the probability is increasing so fx of x versus values taken by the random variable is this now as i told you that the density function is nothing but derivative of distribution function so probability density function probability density function can be obtained can be obtained by by just differentiating this take the derivative of this if you differentiate this what you get derivative of this line is 0 derivative of this line is 0 because constant if it is constant parallel to x axis the derivative is 0 so we are having the derivatives of only those lines which are which are we can say parallel to x axis so all the lines all the segments parallel to x axis they are derivative zero constant derivative of constant is zero so here it is having infinite slope so here it is having infinite slope slope is infinite so and if I take derivative, if I take difference, difference of 2 by 6 and minus 1 by 6, that is, that is derivative. So here it is again this. Then derivative of this, hmm, this patch, 2, 6, 2 by 6 to 3 by 6, the difference is 1 by 6. The difference here, difference, what is the difference? Again 1 by 6, the difference is constant. So fx i minus fx i plus yeah, fx i minus 1 fx i fx i minus 1 fx i fx i minus 1 so so it is uh, density function fx x is a density function and what I am getting it we know that fx fx i minus x i minus 1 so this this difference is it is nothing but this okay limit tending to 0 so values taken by the random variable and here it is density function and everywhere strength is 1 by 6 strength is 1 by 6 so we can write density function of random variable x taking different values equal to we are just see x equal to x i x equal to del of x minus 
एक्स आई इन टू वन बाई सिक्स इट इज डेल्टा फंक्शन इट इज अ डेल्टा फंक्शन एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स वन इट इज वन बाई सिक्स एक्स इक्वल टू एक्स टू वन बाई सिक्स सो दिस इज यूर प्रोबेबिलिटी डेंसिटी फंक्शन इन द सेम फैशन यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन एफ एक्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू समीशन समीशन वॉट वी आर डूइंग हियर वी आर एडिंग दैट एक्स इट इज एक्स आई इन टू पी आई ऑल पी आईज आर सेम सो आई कैन टेक वन बाई सिक्स आउट हियर वी आर एडिंग सॉरी इट इज इट इज अ मीन ऑफ द दिस वन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन तो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फंक्शन इज प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट एक्स इक्वल टू here in this case x equal to xi it is 1 by 6 plus probability that that is xi means x1 uh, x equal to x2 again 1 by 6 so in this case if you if if, if you are adding the density uh, this probability so i can say that i am what i am doing is u of x minus xi right into so 1 by 6 is coming i equal to let us just check whether we can write or not so i equal to 1 x equal to x i it is 